Well, because um, some of you are asking me, has been asking me about this recipe, um, I decided to, to make it possible today, to develop it today, and to share with all of you. First of all, I want to say thank you very much to Alejandro Loaiza, who is a very good chef in the north of Spain, in Barcelona, and he was um, my best friend in the cooking school. He's still one of my best friends. And I basically copied this recipe from him. He, he teach me about this recipe. Um, the, the recipe is patatas bravas. So many people is, is doing different kind of sauce for this for these, these tapas style dish. Um, and the one I, I am I'm showing you today is, uh, it is the one I like most. Um, <laughs> it's, it's simple, but you know, it's, it's much better, thousand times or million times much better than this Brava sauce that you can buy in the stores, you know, ready-made, they are horrible, horrendous sauces. So um, I'll show you through the video. Let's do it together. Well, for the Brava sauce, we have a few ingredients. We have chopped garlic, I have my five cloves. I have chopped tomatoes, which is approximately about 800 grams. I have the spices here, which are um, smoked paprika. So one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, and one teaspoon of salt. 120 milliliters of blended oil, blended olive oil, <coughs> and we have sambal oil egg. Sambal oil egg. This is an um, Indonesian um, paste, a chili paste, and there is a few varieties of it. It's basically made of red chilies. Again, they're using a different types of, of chilies, depending on which sambal it is. <laughs> and this one specifically is just um, red chilies, water, vinegar, salt, and sugar. And what we're gonna do with all these ingredients is, first of all, we're gonna put in a pan the oil and the garlic together to get golden color on the garlic. And then after that, we're gonna put the tomatoes on the top. Then we're gonna cook it for about one hour. <clears throat> it depends how much quantity you have, but we want to reduce a little bit, but one hour, one hour and 15 minutes. And then after that, we will remove from the heat and then we will add all the seasoning, the sambal oil egg and the spices. Let's do it. So the garlic has got the color I want. Then I'm gonna be adding the tomato sauce. The top tomatoes I mean. Using a spoon, we mix it. Wait until it's boiling. And then once it's boiling, we're gonna reduce the heat and then continue simmering for one hour, one hour and 15 minutes. So now the sauce has been producing for about one hour, well, has been cooking for one hour and, um, and 15 minutes, one hour and 20 minutes. And now I, I stop the heat and then I put the spices. The sambal or lick. I like it very spicy, so I will put a little bit extra. And then I just stir it. I leave it there to cool down. At this stage, once it's completely cold, then you can blitz it. Never when it's hot, otherwise it will go orange color. Or if you have a mouli, you can pass it through it at, at this moment in time. 
but I like these small bits and pieces. Some people might think, oh, it's OEB, it's a split. No, this is what we're looking for, because what we're gonna do is, when the potatoes are fried, then we're gonna saute them with this sauce to completely coat all the potatoes. Well, guys, so for the potatoes, I have four medium-sized potatoes, the, the one that we're using for frying, and, and I cut them in ties about two centimeters, two centimeters and a half. Um, and no, they don't need to be all the same size, all the same, all the same shape. But well, try to respect the set, almost same size. So by the time you're cooking it, all of them they're gonna cook on at the same time. Yeah, so you will not have hard bits on it. So I have a hot uh, pan with the vegetable oil and I'm gonna poach them like 110 degrees approximately for about 10 minutes until they're soft. It depends on the potatoes sometimes it's, they, they take longer or not, but just, just peel with an, with a knife and, and, and check if it is ready. <laughs> After that, we're gonna reserve it and then once you're gonna serve it, put the heat very high and then put the potatoes inside the oil and fry them to get that crispiness around. So now in a high heat, we are getting, we are frying the potatoes to get it ready to get this crispiness around. <laughs> then after that, we will remove from the pan and then in a clean pan, we will saute these potatoes with the brava sauce. Having the sauce ready and having uh, the potatoes ready, already fried, in a pan, I put one leaf of this brava sauce. Make a little bit hot. The potatoes in here are very really fried and crispy. And then I'm just gonna toss them to go in completely. Now we're going to plate it up. One clean bowl. And you have the bravas. I use one bowl. You can use any other thing, any other kind of plate. So I put the, the bravas here. And then I've done a fake alioli, which is a garlic mayonnaise. I put a little bit of oil, I put some mayonnaise and I crack some of the garlic and that goes on the top and just finish it with some fresh chopped parsley. You can use chives, you can use any other herbs, but I like parsley. And you go enjoy.